So this is a topic I was talking about on my podcast on how do you beat YouTube? How do you make a platform that is legitimately going to give YouTube problems um, in terms of competition? Like, how do you do that? It seems like it's impossible. Everybody talks about doing it, but nobody has any idea of how to do it. And one way I was thinking about was what if PewDiePie... Now he's he's had a mil, 100 million subscribers. He's he's done for milestones, all right? Um what if he was to break away from YouTube and start his own website, whatever, PewTube, I don't know. And what if he brought people like Jacksepticeye and Markiplier and these like really big gaming channels that he's worked with in the past over to this new website? Presumably he'd have like the money to fund this or whatever, maybe, I don't know. Uh, maybe he could bring some bigger creators over that would establish like an audience so that people could move to this platform and maybe it could take off and you know compete with YouTube or whatever. That's like the only way I can see anybody beating YouTube at this point. I mean YouTube's not gonna last forever. It'll die out in like five years or whatever but like, if you want to make a platform that's gonna beat YouTube right now, how do you do it? Well, Ninja seems to be uh, kinda done with YouTube. Well, not done with YouTube because Zan Plaza is leaving, but he's kinda, you know, starting to talk about some issues um, in relation to COPA, which is going to severely limit the amount of money a lot of people are gonna make doing family-friendly content and gaming videos. Now, there's a big discussion as to whether COPA is gonna affect gaming. YouTube says it won't, but then some people say gaming videos are gonna be affected by it and stuff like that because, you know, these gaming videos are largely family-friendly content and family-friendly content is not gonna be allowed to use, uh, you know, targeted ads and stuff like that, which is the majority of their income. There's a lot of problems going on, and for gaming creators, 2020 is going to be a kind of scary year. It's, it's, at least it's looking like that from the start. So Ninja's kind of looking a little forward and seeing, okay, look, it's time for something new to happen. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Let's take a look at this article by Dexterdo. It says, Ninja explains why he wants a new video platform to overtake YouTube. Mixer streamer Tyler Ninja Blevins has explained why he thinks it's time for a new video service to take the main stage and go up against YouTube. In the last couple years, Ninja has seen unprecedented success on Twitch, Mixer, and of course YouTube, but it appears he may have had enough of the video content platform if his comments in a recent stream are anything to go by. Let's listen to those comments right here, which they include in a clip right here. Jack, I love you, and if you, if you want me to shut up, I will. I feel like... Alright, so Jack uh, Courage, he recently just became an exclusive YouTube gaming streamer. So, before Ninja gives his take, he wants to just clarify. Alright, listen, you're a YouTube gaming streamer. I don't know if this is going to be, you know, uh, against the guidelines or whatever. So, that's the well, that's why I said that at the start. If there, if there was ever a time for another video platform to make a move, kind of like how Discord completely dominated the VoIP community out of nowhere, I, I feel like now is the time for someone to, to go up against YouTube. He's really not wrong. I mean, a lot of people from a vast different amount of, uh, or vastly different communities on the internet have been talking about this for a while now. You know, you've got gaming YouTubers now, especially with Copa. you got family-friendly YouTubers, edgy content producers, uh, people who do politics, all these people are getting fucked over one way or another. Animators, um, all these people are, you know, w for one reason or another, some reasons vastly different than others, all these people have issues with YouTube. Some people say it's censorship, some people say it's the YouTube algorithm, some people say it's YouTube's terms of service, some people say it's COPA, which is a more recent issue that we're having to deal with now. That, yes, it is kind of out of YouTube's control, but, you know, you've got a bunch of different people, not just one group of people that are getting targeted, but you've got a lot of people who are just, like, from all ends of the spectrum, just ready for something new, ready for a new competitor. Um, another thing that sucks about YouTube being on top is that if you get kicked off of YouTube, or unfairly terminated, which a lot of channels have been, not just controversial channels, but, you know, channels getting terminated for no reason due to a guideline glitch or a, a, a bot system kind of ruining their channel and getting it falsely terminated, and YouTube doing nothing to get the channel back up and running. If you're kicked off YouTube, you've got nowhere else to go. You better start becoming a live streamer uh, and maybe hope that you can make it on Twitch or Mixer or something. But if you're making video content, you pretty much have to start your own website, start your build your own internet, start your own YouTube to be able to uh, compete and also be able to do what you want to do, which is just make videos. That 
or you can make a brand new YouTube channel and hope that you don't get re-terminated because, you know, it is against guidelines to uh, ban evade. If you get banned once, you can't make another YouTube channel. So you can, you could make another one and just hope that, you know, you slip through the cracks and nobody notices. But then again, if your channel gets like big and popular enough, people will try to flag it and take, get you taken down again which is a problem. So we need somewhere else to go, at least if not to replace YouTube, to be there as like a second option. And again, this isn't just people who are like super edgy complaining or people who do like, you know, extremist politics or something where it's just like, okay, I can kind of see how some of these people are getting banned. This is normal people complaining, normal people sitting there being like, look, we need something new. Where's it at? I mean, when Ninja, one of the top creators in family-friendly gaming content, is talking about this, you know it's an issue. Anyway, let's keep listening to the clip. It'll just never happen. I, I mean, I kind of agree, <laughs> but. And again, yeah, you, you know, you can sit there and beg for a brand new YouTube all you want, but it's easier said than done. And that, you know, sent sentiment goes by a long mile. I mean, you know, everybody's just like, oh, we need a new platform or whatever. How do you do it? I mean, for a while, Twitch was kind of taking off, and a lot of people were, you know, uh, thinking, hey, maybe Twitch could do something. And then Twitch announced that they had updated their uh, video producer settings so that you could, you know, begin to post videos on your Twitch channel. But nobody really uses that. And also, Twitch is even more restricted than YouTube. And they are far more unfair and inconsistent with their rules than even YouTube is. Like, Twitch, you have no way of knowing if your channel is going to get banned or not. You know, you look at other channels, they can get away with edgier content or, you know, Twitch thoughts can get away with showing some skin or whatever, but you stream, like, without a shirt on as a guy or something, and you get banned for suggestive content, which is just... It doesn't make any sense. So Twitch is not a viable option. Mixer is still getting off the ground. They're not even there yet. They're not even, you know, beating Twitch yet. I mean, they're on the way to it, but they're not even there yet. And they don't even have any way for you to upload videos on there. Uh, DLive is a pretty good option. But again, that's for streaming, not for video content. You know, you've got a lot of options for streamers, but where's the options for video content? Vid.me, that's gone. Vanilla, which was another option that popped up at the beginning of last year, about a year ago this time, that's gone. You've got BitChute, which is really the next viable option um, if you get kicked off of YouTube. But BitChute is largely known for being political. Um, so if you're trying to move to BitChute to make gaming videos or gaming content or family-friendly content, that's not really going to work as of right now. That's not really like the market um, that people who use BitChute, that's not what they're looking for. If there was a time, dude, it'd be now. <laughs> There's so many people just like complaining and complaining and complaining and complaining. There's nowhere else to go. The good news is that I'm confident one day Ryan's going to take the helm and fix everything. So that last clip you heard there was Kuridge responding uh, to this showing faith in his friend and YouTube's head of gaming, Ryan Wyatt, saying, well, the good news is I'm confident that one day Ryan is going to take the helm and fix everything, which is... A very optimistic take to have, and I know exactly why he's saying this. It's not a big surprise if you can figure this out, but Courage has signed an exclusive contract to stream to YouTube for a set amount of time. He's getting a lot of money directly from YouTube due to this contract, so obviously he's going to come in with the optimistic take and be like, Nah, YouTube's fine. They're, they're going to fix it all. It's going to be all good. Obviously, this is a pile of horse shit. I mean, <laughs> we all know. Like, come on now. I mean, show some transparency here. I mean, that's just... That is just painfully optimistic. I mean, I'd like it to. I'd like that to be true. I'd like that to be like a valid take. But I'm just like, nah. I mean, it, it's not gonna get better from here. If it was, it would have gone better a long time ago. Now, the final part of this article that I find interesting is that it goes on to say Ninja goes on to expand on this idea with the rumor that could prove terrible for content creators that use YouTube. He says. I've heard rumors, dude, that ads on gaming might be completely removed. His teammates don't respond, which could mean either that it wasn't something they were willing to talk about or something they had no opinion or knowledge on. Whether it's true or not, it certainly seems like Ninja trusts his sources on this one. If true, the removal of ads from gaming videos could prove fatal to the lifespan of gaming content on YouTube, let alone the career aspirations of people who make their money from YouTube gaming. I'll end off the article there. You can go ahead and read it. I'll have it pinned in the comments below. But it's certainly an interesting time for YouTube and for uh, gaming creators. You know, we've seen plenty of people complain about YouTube, but when top family-friendly gaming creators, you know, Fortnite Let's Players and streamers and stuff are complaining, 
you know there's a whole lot of issues that uh, really need some addressing. My name is RRC. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit like if you found it informative, and I will play out a tune and uh, catch you guys later. Peace out.